all of my people. <laughs> Never actually began a video like that, but just to try something different. I thought, you know, maybe give that a try. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if that catches on or if I just hate it after like a few times of using it. So for today, we're going to be doing several uh, knee stretches, post-surgical stretches, and these are meant to be done even if you cannot really be weight-bearing because you're just going to be sitting for these or lying on your side as the case may be later on. Um, but yeah, these are just meant to be done very early on. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need this and I'm going to take it. You're supposed to, I should mention, if you didn't know, you're supposed to take uh, the leg that is unaffected, you did not have surgery on, and do the movements on that one first because that way you get an idea of what a good range of motion is, what your you know, normal range of motion, what you should feel like, all of that, um, what that is, and you know, you're not starting with the leg that's got problems or just had surgery on it um, because that's going to kind of throw things off and make it hard to tell what, what's normal, what's not. So anyway, okay, when you are ready, let's go ahead and take the um, leg and bend it as I'm doing here. So. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more, a little bit more bent. Okay, and then that. Um, we're going to be doing it for three times because we're trying to hold for approximately uh, 30 seconds. Okay. I can tell it's not quite where it's supposed to be. There we go. That's a little better. I don't know if that was 30 seconds, but uh, take that leg down and then yeah, let's just put it like that in my case. Uh, wherever it's comfortable, really. Uh, have your, you know, band or whatever you're using, just put it wherever it's comfortable and you can. Uh, allows you to complete this movement. Okay. All right. And I'm going to call it good on this one. And then since we do have to do both, let's go ahead and go to the other side. So bend the, bend the knee and then let's take it up. Okay, I counted to 30 roughly, so. All right, and then gotta do it again. Ooh, my hip flexor is actually a little tight, I'm noticing. Um, and then we're going to be doing another stretch. I mean, these are all stretches, but mm, let's go ahead and loop the thing you're using around. And okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, and I'm gonna keep this other leg bent uh, because really for if you have back problems, but honestly, it's just, I think it would be better for stability. So, so what we're gonna do is just pick up the leg and to begin with, you're probably going to be bending a lot when you first start doing this exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just do as much as you can handle once again. And this one, we're just going to try to stay up a little bit and gradually get the leg to uh, straighten as much as we can kind of get it. Ooh, back on my, my back does have a little bit of trouble, it feels like, right now. I can't feel that. Yeah, this probably won't feel great first for a little while when you're doing this uh, stretch. 
can definitely feel it through the back of your leg. Okay. Go ahead and carefully put it down. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and bend this side now, and then um, have this leg bent to begin with, and just go ahead and bring it up. Starting here. The birds are going crazy outside. It's like, it's not springtime, it's winter still. The, the birds sound very happy out there, like it is springtime for some reason. Of course, here in California, it um, it is like it's springtime, even when it's actually winter. Um, it's only really feels like winter for a couple months, but then after that it's you know a lot more, a lot warmer, and a lot sunnier, which is nice. Okay, keep going. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to straighten this. stretch even if you're just you know there's nothing you haven't had surgery knee surgery um, it still feels really nice on the back of your leg okay I'm gonna go ahead and carefully bring it back down all right um and then let's see let's go ahead and flip onto our side And this is a, um, uh, what do you call it, quad stretch. So I think I'm just gonna stay like this and see how this goes. But you're gonna need both knees bent to begin with. You may not be able to do a super good bend, and that's okay. Um, but first we're gonna begin with, you know, like I had said, the unaffected knee. And we're just gonna try and take it and stretch stretch the front of the leg and you might be able to take the band if you need to. Ew, there's a spider on the ceiling, sorry. But I can't help it, when I notice stuff like that it freaks me out, I don't like spiders. Uh, anyway, uh, if you need the band then you probably could loop that or have someone loop that around your foot and then you know do use that to complete the movement if you have to. Oh, there we go. Because even now I'm kind of having a little bit of trouble Trying to reach my my uh, heel, but not too bad. All right, go ahead and put that down, and then very carefully in your case, uh, go ahead and transition to the other side. I'm gonna sit up a little bit more because I kind of don't care for. Ooh, that side's really tight. I don't care for the laying down as much. Um, it just feels like I don't have as good a control. So. This is actually really nice. Um, it's definitely a good modification if you need to stretch your quads and you don't like to have to stand up. Cause that can, you know, that's a lot of balancing in that. Um, I mean, that's typically what I do, but this is definitely a nice uh, option. Wow, I can feel that a lot. All right, I'll let that go. All right, and then come back up. All right, so the final thing we're gonna do is um, take and loop this thing around your, uh, your foot once again, and then we're just gonna try to kind of hold the toes, well, the foot, um, so that it's, so it's pointing back more towards you. So. Be 
because time is sort of of the essence, I am going to go ahead and just do this, um, do it quickly, as quickly as kind of possible in my case, but in your case, I want you to take your time. So those are all of our post-surgical knee stretches, at least for today. Um, there are some other ones that can that I can definitely show you later on, but those are uh, weight bearing, so probably not right away. But uh, once you are able to do weight bearing, then they would be really good to do. And a lot of them are just uh, like the next level of some of the stuff we just already did. So, so yeah. <laughs> 